Well, what's up guys? So on top of doing easy cocktails, today I'm gonna to add one more variable and we're gonna go with a low ABV drink as well. And it's good to drink low ABV drinks because you can keep drinking them. So especially if you're like doing them early in the day, if you're doing a little day drinking or if you're drinking while you're making your dinner, um, you don't get like too, too, too drunk and you can have a couple, you know, and still have your dinner and not, you know, then have to go, go to sleep early or whatever. Um, I've been drinking a lot of wine. I don't know about you guys, but I have been drinking a lot of wine, uh, while I've been stuck at home these days. Uh, and it led me to this drink that I think is absolutely phenomenal. And the great part about it is that you can actually utilize wine that you've had left over. So I had this bottle of wine that we didn't finish. Um, and it got left out without a cap on, so it, it, it definitely oxidized. It is not yet vinegar, but it is not, you know, it's not going to be a good glass of wine, but it will make a fantastic cocktail. So I decided that we would do a Kitty Highball. The Kitty Highball was first published by a guy named W.C. Whitfield and uh, in a book called um, Mixed Drinks and Cocktails, published in 1939. And then the version that we're going to do today is actually from a bar called Fresh Kills in New York. And they basically took the buck template, right, with, uh, with like fresh ginger syrup and lime uh, and top off with soda uh, for a really nice take on this very, very gingery sort of take on this a little bit deeper in flavor. Uh, the original is just equal parts um, uh, wine and ginger ale. Uh, in a glass, which I'm sure would be ab absolutely fantastic. We're just gonna add in some fresh ginger here and make this thing, just like knock it out of the park, you know what I'm saying? So first thing we're gonna do is take our fresh ginger syrup and do three quarters of an ounce. If you do not know how to make ginger syrup, just click the link above and go to our tutorial on it. It's pretty easy, uh, the way that we do it. And then uh, we're gonna do half an ounce of lime juice. And then we're gonna just do uh, two ounces of our wine. We're using Chianti today. Uh, then we're gonna add some ice into our big tin and our cocktail, like so. We're gonna add some more ice into our glass. I actually just made, I just cut a big old block of ice. So I'm just using all the ice ends to create my ice for my cocktail. I'm gonna give us a nice shake. I realized that I uh, left my strainer in the sink. I'm just gonna grab it out. It is clean. I just all got to grab it out. I'm gonna unlock the tin. This is gonna be nice and frothy here. I like to do a little double strain. Now you also can add the soda in first. If you wanna get the effervescence kind of going in the bottom uh, and you wanna make sure not to pour on top of a piece of ice or it's gonna layer on top. So I like to just pour it right in the side. So that actually gets down in there. It's nice and foamy. Ooh, I love it. Uh, I did not grab my Surfside Zip though, which is my, my trusty Surfside. I love how foamy it is. All right, let's take a let's take a let's take a sip on this one. Spilling everywhere. Ooh, so nice. So it's just bright and limey, and then it's got that nice gingery gingeriness to it. I got to tell you that if I had my way, I would probably use a Cabernet. For this, I just had the Chianti left over, so that's why we're doing Chianti, which is fine. It's really good, but I would rather do a little um, a little Cabernet for this, maybe you know, kind of medium-bodied wine. Really nice, though, and low ABV. So this is just like a nice alternative to drinking a glass of wine at the end of the night. Um, and it kind of makes you feel like you're drinking a mixed drink and it's got that gingeriness and the, and the liminess to it. It's just really good. And that's what I gotta say. It's actually so good I uh, kind of drank a bunch of it there. So there you have it, the Kitty Highball 
and have reconstructed. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash the educated barfly. And uh, check out our YouTube subscriptions. They are pretty awesome. And uh, Marius just wants us to keep going. He wants me to drink some more of this drink. If I drink any more of this drink, I'm just gonna drink it all. And it's goddamn good, I gotta tell you. It's a nice, it's, it's like a nice alternative to your glass of wine, you know? I think I might do these for the rest of the week. Well, the rest of the week's only a day or two, but three days. I'm gonna have to make another one in the thumbnail though, cause I'm, I'm drinking it all. Mmm. The thing is, is I, I wanna drink too many of the drinks because if I drink all the drinks, I'll be hammered by the time we get done tonight. And then those last couple ones will just be a complete mess. Oh, that was good. I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys another time.